British title here. No quarter asked at all, and much of it up close. Antry with the quality at range. Antry's put a couple of dents in Cartwright, but still, Cartwright responds. Cartwright's powers of recovery are extraordinary as well. A couple of times he's looked a little shaky. Great left hook there from Antry, but he soon bounces back, Cartwright. Oh, that, I, I think we knew that about him, though. He's shown that in the past, though. However, however much you think that it's a hard fight, that he's always going to bring it, and never, never going to quit. Antwi unloading again there with a big left hook. Flurry of punches there from Antwi. Yeah, a little bit of acceleration in his, in his work as well there, looking for Antwi. And uppercut and left hook again, shake of the head from Cartwright. I think that's been the difference here as well, you know, just uh, obviously got the long reach and, and, and that sort of stuff here, Antwi, but also Oh, he's oh, in his flow as George, oh, he's relaxed, he is more angles to that to throw and land the shots from. Yeah, and and you hit the day earlier, Barry, you, just, you wouldn't see Cartwright come in a little bit lower. I think you always have success against them guys, just be, be target the chest or just drop the head down, so you're not always giving them that conventional target to aim at. And also when you slide it from a lower position, the vision when you look up, is a much, you have much, much more things to hit, you can see much clearly. Yeah. I'd like to see Antri try and put his foot on the gas here. You know, at the end of the last round, he showed that he, he can go through the gears. But he doesn't need to... This is good. Huge hooks from Antri again, just bouncing off Cartwright. I just seen Cartwright trying to hold for the first time. It's a sign that they're having an effect here. Another big hook there from Antri. He gets angled a little bit there. Is that Cartwright gas tank just starting to empty a little bit here? Well, Cart Cart Big Cartwright's biggest problem is, is his inability to, to avoid shots. He blocks shots, but he doesn't move his head. He doesn't slip any punches. And he's tough enough to take his licks and c come forward, but that has an accumulated effect. As the rounds go by, oh, just good work here from Antwi. There's only so many of those you can take. As you say, the effect is a cumulative one. Eventually it wears you down. Oh, that's a nice little faint there before he threw from Antwi. Boxing really well. High class this from Antwi. Sell your car the motorway way, where dealers compete to give you their best price. It's bid mania as dealers bid for Helen's car. 14,000, Matt? I'm just bidding my best price. But wait, here's the star of the show. And he's just bid 14,500. 15,000? 15,000? Wow. No way. Yes way. Motorway, the way to sell your car. There's that Antwi corner, Gary Logan and co are going to be very happy, and here's why, Barry. That was straight st start of the round, wasn't it, for Antwi? Just jumped into a lovely little cheeky left hook. But again, he was so accurate in that round, the movement, the flow in his punches, he, he had a really good round. In a hard fight when he's meant to be tiring, he found the energy to skip round the ring, plant his feet, and that was some good quality shots. And if you're in that Cartwright corner, George, you're starting to look closely at your fight, do you think? I think so, Dave, I think. It's an uphill battle, I haven't gave, given him a round, and he is consistently taking heavy shots. He's a tough man for sure, but if he ain't got a chance of turning this round, you might be thinking about pulling it. What about you, Barry? Yeah, I think so. The, the problem you have it, if this was a world title fight, you probably, we probably wouldn't be thinking on that vein, or maybe we would. But to these guys, this might be their world title shot. You know, you know it's, it's the biggest fight of their career, so you know, you, you want to give a fight every opportunity, but I, 
it's very difficult to see how he makes a dent in, in Antwi now. It really is. So yeah, I would be thinking that, you know, you give him the best opportunity you can to try and turn the fight round. And he's dug in and he's brave and he's tough and he's tough. And he, and no, he's and he's not getting battered in any round. But in stage he's taking heavy shots and then that last round, that's the, the, the clearest round he's lost, I felt. Yeah, that's gonna be the pattern. And we are still only in round nine then. He might be too brave for his own good, but Hartwright pushing forward. Do you know what? He had a bit, he had a bit of work then. He's had some good work then, Cartwright. And as he went to throw again, cleverly answered, used that shoulder illegally and pushed him off with it. If you, if you get away with it, you can use it. But just stop the flow of it of Cartwright's work. A better round for can't write so far but still the quality is from Antwi <laughs> though, though I would say and I'm, a dead, I'm, dead, I'm, I'm scared to say it now just gonna turn it wrong we haven't seen can't like, seriously hurt or, or wobble for a long time that was early in the fight wasn't it Again, the accuracy of the world just letting Cart right down a little bit here, but Antri not fleet, not fleet footed or anything, but loose with his work and the angles he's throwing from as well, just giving him the advantage here. Again, that right hook to the body from Antwi, and he's looking for a final flurry to end the round. Cart right landed a shot that looked low, pushed Antwi back. But then Antwi just couldn't miss with that right hand as Cartwright fell into it. Cartwright trying to shove Antwi back here, but Mark Lyson pushes him back. Great finish to the round. Whether it's a new workout high, Raising your spirits in our classes. Or floating on air in our spas. Elevate your everyday with David Lloyd Clubs. Try a three-month membership today. Three rounds to go then for the... British super welterweight title, but Samuel Antwi looks well on top here. And George, here's some of the uh, the action from that previous Ten round. Yeah, he's... Cartwright pushing, and I gave him that last round, so I thought just, he just landed a few more punches. But more so where Antwi just sort of took his foot off the gas rather than a change in the tide for me. I mean, Cartwright's still in there, he's, he's, and he, he's still got that puncher's chance. He might only be a, a good, solid combination away from swinging this fight back in his favour. Certainly needs a stoppage now on my cards, but... Cartwright does have eight knockouts on his record, Antwi seven. It's hard to see Cartwright finding a, a single shot, but you never know, you never know in this sport. Yeah, having a decent start to this round as well here, Cartwright. Cartwright is the longer at this weight anyway, the bigger man. But look at the difference when he just gets a little bit lower there and jumps out of the crouch. How much more effective he is here. Cartwright. Good jabbing from Cartwright. Just needs to flow in flurries now a little bit for me, Antwi. Have a little walk around, faint, take a rest, and then explode with a three-punch combination, and take it, create some space, get your energy back again, and then go again. Good shot from Antwi. Just waited for the mistake, didn't he? Yeah, 
lovely jab there from Cartwright. He's got a throw when he's in that position now. Cartwright might just have nicked the last round of be nicking this one, but he needs a lot more than that. What he needs to go after this one. He needs to get that concentration. Oh, good left hook there from Cartwright. Lovely left hook. He has to keep that concentration. Oh, and Antwi's legs looked unsteady for a moment there. Cartwright has to try and put it all on the line here now. Great double jab there from Cartwright. These are his best moments in the fight. Can't respond to him. Can he answer with the same vigor that he has in the in the other round? By, the, by now, in, in previous rounds, he would be flurrying. But the accuracy has gone a little bit here, and can't really have a bit of success in working off it. Yeah, left hook there from Cartwright, and Antwi is staggered. Where has Mason Cartwright found this from? And he's talking to Antwi in there as well. We've seen one remarkable turnaround tonight. This, though, would beat it. Goodness me, look at this from Cartwright. Yeah, Antwi has to hold on. He's knocked off balance with the hook as well, but I think it's solid and hard enough that it might have shook him, you know, and maybe the bell came just at the right time for Antwi right there. He certainly can't afford to take his eye off, off the ball here. At this stage of the fight, stay switched on and give away no free shots. Cartwright is still there, he's still firing hard. As you know, if Cartwright were to win these last two rounds, and if there was any debate, any argument about some of those earlier ones, you could make a case, you could. You could yet all be on the line, and Cartwright is coming on strong. Championship rounds here for the British title. What a night we've had here on Channel 5. One of the very best. Can Cartwright keep up the momentum? Again, he doubles up that jab. He's got a jab low, Cartwright, and throw the right hand over the top. So you've got to sit down with the jab, make it obvious he's going to the belly, and then wing that right hand over the top. Slide that front foot in close, get inside those long levers there of, uh, of Antwi. Also, Barry, every time Cartwright targets the body, Antwi comes up right, the chin comes up. So if he attacks the body and then tries yeah. to switch it up and follow with the head. He's already showed he's had success with that left hook. Good work again there from Cartwright. There's the left hook that George was talking about right on cue. But Antwi responds now. Oh, good right hand there from Antwi. Up close. And the feint from Cartwright trying to earn the right to get up close. It's amazing how so, um, um, physical of the, a sport it is, but how um, mental it is. But, Right hand there again from Cartwright. Some of that found a way through, but Antwi responding. Look at this as they stand at exchange. That's lovely work there from Cartwright, keeping the shape throughout all this. Hands, eye, elbows tucked nice and tight. He lacks the head movement, but he keeps his hands up well. Punches direct and straight. Cartwright still believes in there, but Antwi still terrifically accurate. Cartwright looks for that uppercut. <laughs> and accurate there being the right word, they the fighter who is the most accurate might find the winning punch. Big right hand from Antwi, and then the left hook from Cartwright. This has been the story of the fight. They've exchanged quality shots all night. Yeah, they both landed the left hooks there, didn't they, simultaneously? 
some marks coming up on the left eye of Cartwright. Big power to the body from Antri and then hooks to the head. Great drama in round 11 here. Antri with a big swing and a miss there. Both desperately tired. In all likelihood, there's the damage to the eye that George was talking about. John Smith in there with Mason Cartwright, but Cartwright needs at least a knockdown in the final round, surely, but he's certainly got to win it, George, and he's certainly got to just keep the heat up on Antwi here. Well, I, I personally give him the last three rounds. The last round, that 11th round, was tight. Could have gone either way. I have got him down on the cards, but... Who knows how some of them earlier rounds have been scored. This could be a lot tighter than we think. It could still be all to play for in this 12th final round. Yeah, we've watched enough, Barry, to believe that might be the case. And we should be ahead, certainly on both of your cards. But if Cartwright can finish really strongly, the dream might still be on for him. Yeah, and you feel that the momentum is in, though not massively, but is in Cartwright's favour at the minute. So. It's Antwi now who's been a little bit flat in the last few rounds to make a real push. Cartwright's just got to go for it. Listen, he's gone for it all night, you know, to be fair to him. But he, he just, he literally got to just keep, but by the I'm sure that the hands go straight and long. And just keep throwing now. This is it now, this is what hours upon hours of work in the gym. Technical work, fitness, everything comes down to this. <laughs> Left hook there from Cartwright. And then looks for the big right hand over the top. Yeah, lands with it as well. Look how comfortable he is there, no Cartwright in close. Big booming uppercut from Cartwright. At the moment, he is winning this final round. Right hand, though, from Antri, but then a, a right hook from Cartwright again. Staggers Antri back. Oh, lovely jab there from Antri. And then works off it. Under 90 seconds to go. Can either of these fighters produce something spectacular here? Feels like using that jab again here, Antwi. Yeah. And get that right screw shot into, into play. Yeah, Antwi's fighting like he's been told this could be close. <laughs> Make sure you win this last round. He's feeling the pace of the fight. He's, up. He's not always able to keep his feet under him. Slipping and sliding a bit. But good work there off the ropes. A huge right hand there from Antwi. And left hook! And Antwi stops him dramatically! Huge shot! Huge shot to win the title! And Mason Cartwright is down, and our thoughts instantly go to him. Antwi is the champion. But Cartwright, who's put everything on the line here, is getting attention there in the ring. So let's keep it subdued here as Antwi shows real class and goes over to Cartwright. But in the end, he found a spectacular finish there. Yeah, that first right hand. The right hand, I think the referee was just on the blind side. The right hand stunned him. He was done at that first shot. And then the second one hit him. The referee. Tried to get, tried to get in there, but Andrew was just too fast with that third shot, which was the looked like the most damaging because he was already out on his feet at that point. But the first right hand was a really heavy shot. Well, as you can see, Mason Cartwright able to sit up on the stool there. Adam Booth just leading the applause for him. What a brave effort that was, George. No, it really was, really, really was, and. A great finish from him in those in those final sort of championship rounds. Um, 
sickening really for him to get caught in, in like that in the in the final moments of of a terrific fight but he found that power and you know he, he was landing them them big shots them